Hello! This is my VR2 Wicked Gem, or Anthony. Um, basically, you know, an uh, introduction of ourselves. But, like, without the witchiness, I guess you could say, just like, as we are as people. Not like, maybe not really including our, you know, past, but more like how we are aside from that, I should say. Um, sorry if my camera's bouncing sitting on my bed. But, um, first off, I haven't, I only, I haven't mentioned my name that many times. But my name is Maria, or, like, my full name is Maria Lynn. But most people call me Maria, because it's easier. Maria, whatever. <laughs> um, I am 19, almost 20. I'll be 20 this summer. I am an English major, and I don't know what I'm a minor in, because I was minoring in Russian, but that's not turning out so well. So I'm like... Something about minoring in um, writing or something, or British Lit, because I love British literature. Um, I do want to be a book editor someday, so see how that goes. Um, I see, I'm looking at my notes on my laptop, <laughs> so I'm sorry for the shiny in my face. Um, I have a boyfriend who I've been dating for almost three years now. Uh, it's actually a long distance relationship, but we've like I've spent he spent Christmas here like a month here during Christmas, and I spent like a couple weeks over there in the summer. We we would switch on and off and visit each other. So um, families and homes, and he lives in Michigan. And I live in Virginia. And it just goes to show you that, you know, long distance relationships can work. And the way we met is kind of funny. We met through an online RPG. So you can say I love games. Um, but going back to my English major book thing, I love British literature. I love Jane Austen. I love the Bronte sisters. Like, I, my favorite um, British lit book ever, I think, has to be Jane Eyre because it's just so... Just something about it. It's just like, ah! I love Jane Eyre. I love um, Pride and Prejudice. I, um... Love Wuthering Heights. <clears throat> also, I love Lord of the Rings books. I've read, like, in a week, um, in eighth grade, I read the entire, um, like, the trilogy of the Lord of the Rings in a week. <laughs> and, like, it's over, like, a thousand pages altogether. It's, like, all, like, I have this huge one book that's, like, that thick with all the appendixes and stuff. And so, I read that in a week, so I love Lord of the Rings. I also love fantasy novels. I love... Um, Garth Nix, he writes the Abhorson series, I love, like, the Sabriel, Luriel and Abhorson trilogy kind of thing. Um, I love, what was, I love, um, Holly Black, who wrote, um, Valiant, Tithe, and Ironside. I love, um, Neil Gaiman, who did Coraline, and things like that. I just, I love books, I love all books. I have a Kindle now, because I have over 200 books in my room, and I need to sell them and get rid of them, because I don't have room. And I won't read them again. And so someone else should enjoy them. <laughs> um, music. My favorite music, I have to say, is symphonic metal. I love European symphonic metal. Now I listen to all genres of music, but um, my fa my favorite um, metal comes from Finland mainly. I love Finnish metal. Like, Finnish Finnish people come up with the best metal. I don't know how. It's, some, it's just some sort of weird magic, I guess. <laughs> but they come up with the best metal. I love Amorphous. His voice, Tommy Jouston, if I'm pronouncing his name right has like a voice like it's so mmm like ah yes <laughs> I love his voice I love Nightwish I wish I could see them concert I will one day I love Nightwish I love the 69 eyes I love Lacrimus Profundir um with them Temptation they're um I think they're Swedish I'm not pretty I'm not pretty sure about them but I know they're not Finnish I love uh, Lacuna Coil they're Italian I got to see them in concert I also, uh, I love, like, I love some American metal. I love Kill Switch Engage. I love, um, the old band, I know, Concrete Blonde. I love Concrete Blonde. I also love Perfect Circle. Perfect Circle, I think, is my number one favorite band ever. I don't know why, even though they're not really, well, I guess they got back together for a tour and stuff. But I love a Perfect Circle. I just, something about them and the way the music is just so different and alternative and it's really awesome. Oh, let's see. But I love all kinds of music. I mean, I love Johnny Cash. I don't listen to much country except for him, though. I love Johnny Cash. I love, um, just, like, weird music. I like some, like, I have these weird, um, French music stuff. Like, I love all kinds of music. I just don't like, I don't listen to R&B, and I don't really listen to, um, rap. I listen to some pop. I love Lady Gaga. Love Lady Gaga. <laughs> but, um, I don't listen to much R&B American music, really, except for, like, fun and things like that. Like, little, um, some... Mm, indie bands, I guess, but not that many. Ah, uh, I'm a gamer. Love games. Um, I love, I don't remember, the, like, the first game I really got into, 
is an old RPG. It's called Zone of the Enders. I love Zone of the Enders. That was the first game I really got into. Um, the first game I ever bought was, uh, what was it called? Resident Evil 4. Ooh, that's a bad first game for a child. So scary. But then, like, now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, it's not so bad. Well, except for the part when you have to rescue the president's daughter, Ashley, and you're just like, stuff that, stuff her in a box. <laughs> And stuff that's skank in a box because she's annoying and she gets herself killed. I hate her. <laughs> Such an annoying character. I, that's why I'm like, I just started playing Resident Evil 4 again, but I had to stop when I got to Ashley because I'm like, I'm tired of like shoving her up towers and putting her in boxes and making her hide because she's dumb and things find her. And she's like, oh no, save me. I'm like, I'm getting my butt chopped off by some thing with a spiked head. I can't, I can't help you. Save yourself. And she's like, ah. <laughs> I love RPGs. I love Zone of the Enders, uh, Xenosaga, uh, really good RPG games. I do play some Final Fantasy. Uh, Record of Acarus War Zero is a really good RPG. I also like um, shooter games, like not first person, just like not Call of Duty. I'm not a really big fan of Call of Duty or Modern Warfare. Sorry, my tea. <laughs> not really a big fan of them. I do love the Left 4 Dead games. I really want the Left 4 Dead 3 to come out with um, Ellis's friend. Uh, I can't remember his friend's name, but like Ellis in Left 4 Dead 2 always talks about him and his friend, his buddy Keith. There you go, his buddy Keith. He talks about his buddy Keith and how his buddy Keith got um, kicked out of his house for dressing up as a ghost or something and they were going zombie hunting. And I just love Left 4 Dead because it's just like the first one was scary, the second one's kind of silly, but like you shoot zombies and stuff and like it's awesome. It's a f I think that that one's the first. Yeah, that one's the first person. But it's pretty awesome. I love it. I love playing with my friends. Because playing by yourself with NPCs is really annoying. Excuse me, I'm going to take a sip of my drink. But, um, yeah. I love, um, those games. I also love God of War. Because, like, the blood and gore is just awesome. And then you have the naked ladies. <laughs> just like, yeah, like, in um, God of War 3, you get to do Aphrodite. I'm like, and you get, um, experience points. And it's like, yeah. Oh, that's, 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 that's cool! And you're like, yeah, Aphrodite, woo! And you're like, okay, well. And then, like, the, there'll be other chicks in the background who glitch out, so it looks like one chick was making out with herself. It was really weird. Like, the game glitches, and it's pretty funny. Um, I also uh, play Oblivion and Skyrim. I almost beat Oblivion 100% almost, at least I think I did. I might not have, but then I had I got a new 360 for my boyfriend. And my, and my memory went transfer from my brother's 360 to mine, so I'm like, oh, I gotta start Oblivion all over again. And Skyrim, I don't know, like, I should technically, I should have finished the game almost 100% by now. Because I got it when the day came out, and I was f level 45 twice before, before, like, once I had to delete the first one. I delete the first one because of a game, like, a, gl a glitch in the Mage's um, College thing, and I was like, oh, and the second one I accidentally deleted. And, um, I love Oblivion. I also, what are the games like? I love Demon Souls. That game is so frustrating, but I love it because when you beat it and you beat stuff and you're like, yeah! Even though I died like five times, I had to find out all my, get, had to touch my blood stains and get all my souls back and with half the life I used to have, I still beat it. Ah! And you're just like, yes. Um, let's see. I, I have a couple favorite TV shows. Like, I really like watching, um, right now I have My Strange Addiction flashing because I'm like, one girl's drinking gasoline. It's, I like watching this stuff because it's really interesting just to, um, just to see people's strange addictions because everyone has their own addiction, but some people are honestly really strange addictions. And I'm just like, like one girl likes drinking gasoline. I'm just like, that's not good. That's not good. I love uh, Iron Chef. <laughs> I love Iron Chef America. Iron Chef um, Game of Thrones. I just, I just got this today. I just got this today. I'm so excited. I love Game of Thrones. I've read all the books except for the latest one that came out because I'm willing that to come out in paperback. But I love them. I love them. Like, if you haven't read the first book but you've seen the first series, which is this one, exactly like the book. Almost word for word, exactly like the book. Except for a few um, scenes been switched or cut out, but in the end, they weren't really important scenes in the book anyways. I mean, you could have done without them. Like, you can see I have the um, Kingdoms of Westar Res Westeros, excuse me, on my well, wall. So I'm just like... Yay! I love Game of Thrones. My favorite um, TV show by far. I love True Blood. I have first three seasons on DVD. Love it. I love Charmed. Holy crap. Charmed. They're just... My boyfriend makes fun of me because like, the acting's so bad or so cheesy. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Cole, 
Don't just cold. I love cold. Yeah, I love cold. I hate Phoebe. She's dumb for letting him go. He we wanted to change. You know, he was hot, sexy demon dude. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I also love uh, Walking Dead. I haven't been able to keep up, keep up with the second season though. I'm really sad. I really want to get the deep, um, them on DVD. Cause I watched the first season completely through, and I was like, it made me think. Cause like in all these um, zombie movies I watch in games, like you shoot things with guns, and guns make a really loud sound. And if things are, if zombies are attracted by sound, then why do people use guns? And one guy uses a bone compound bow and arrow. I'm like, I know how to shoot a bow and arrow. Which goes and go, I I can shoot a bow and arrow. I know how to shoot a bow and arrow. I love like I don't hunt. I'm personally not comfortable with hunting. I couldn't do it personally. I understand why deer are hunted. I mean. Because like it, overpopulation would be really bad for the environment, and the ecosystem. But at the same time, I couldn't personally take a life. Because one thing may look I don't like eating deer meat too. Because one thing I read um, these book series called Songs of Merlin, and these people could sh shape shift into deer. So every time I'm like deer, I'm like you're killing people, or I'm eating a person. Ugh. So I'm like no. Um, so I can shoot a bow and arrow. I'm a pretty good shot. Like I haven't, but probably rusty. But when I really was into it before, my mom planted apple trees in front of my target shooting area. <laughs> I could like hit a bullseye dead on like I don't know how many times in a row. I was really good at it. Uh, I also play the violin. I haven't played in a long time. I played for six years and then I stopped. And I played a little bit of guitar, but I didn't really get into that. I really wanted more to play cello. Um, what else? My notes. Anything else? Oh, I have this like weird cartilage thing in my chest going on. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's like some sort of disease where your cartilage can get inflamed and stuff. But um. And my chest, where my sternum is, where my um, rib cage is attached to my sternum, but um, it goes to the point where I sh if I pull up my shoulder, but <clears throat> I pull my shoulder blades back and I stretch, my car, my, my chest pops and goes <clears throat> like you're cracking your knuckles. So I can be like, that's what my chest will sound like, and I'm like, Ooh, and people will be like, ee, and I'm like, ee, oh. okay. But I think that's all. I mean, that's all really. Uh, I like working out. I work out just because I like running. I love the beach. I'm obsessed with the ocean. Like, if I could be a mermaid, I don't know, like I said this in a couple of my videos, but if I could be a mermaid, I probably would and just live underneath the ocean and just be happy. <laughs> I love the ocean. I love the water. I love swimming. Like, I probably could have gotten myself killed a couple of times by swimming up and down the coast in North Carolina. That's, like, um, where I want to live. Like, if I could, I live in either in North Carolina on the ocean front, like, in a little cottage, or I live in St. Augustine, that little town, because it's such a cute little town. And the energies are just so strong there, and I love Spanish moss. I love Spanish moss to death. Um, I don't know how long this video is. It's probably getting really long. I'm rambling a lot. But I think I talked about everything. Yeah. Oh. I love food, too. I eat a lot. I eat. I mean, I'm, a, I'm like, if you're if you're hungry and it tastes good, you eat it. Kind of thing. I'm just like, whatever. Healthy or not healthy. Like, I'm not really worried about gluten-free and stuff like that. I mean, I, f I feel fine. Uh, unless I was like, unless I have an allergic reaction to it, I will eat it. <laughs> That's my motto. Like, unless it's gonna kill you, like, give you an allergic reaction, I'm gonna eat it anyways. But yes, this is me and myself. Uh, but yeah, this is a long video. Um, I'm sorry if I haven't been on lately a lot. I've just been really busy because now I have a new job. I work at Chipotle, and I love my coworkers. They're hilarious. I'm like, I once I had worked a seven-hour shift. Friday and that was oh, my feet hurt so bad because I didn't sit down or anything but yeah so I haven't been on like a lot lately and like I'm taking 18 credits and I really don't want to take 18 credits anymore in high school I mean college Whew. like I don't know I don't know I don't want to take that many credits anymore like I wish I could just cut down to 15 it'd be a whole lot easier make life a whole lot easier but I'm like I don't know. anyways I hope you guys have a wonderful night it's night here I don't know if I'll um, post this tonight or tomorrow probably tomorrow Maybe tonight, because I'm trying to catch up on YouTube videos. But, um, I love you guys. You're awesome. And, um, I love you, Anthony. Your videos are awesome. And you're just pretty cool and you're awesome. So, I love all of you. Bright blessings. Namaste.